so now let us observe one more question if tan vs x plus tan vs y plus tan vs z is equal to pi then prove that x plus y plus z is equal to x y z suppose tan vs x is equal to a x is equal to tan a tan inverse y is equal to b y is equal to tan b tan vs z is equal to c z is equal to tan c that means a plus b plus c is equal to pi or 180 degrees that means if you consider there what has to be proved tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a into tan b into tan c or sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a so it it is enough to prove that tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a into tan b into tan c provided a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees so this problem already we have done in compound angles so so let us do it so first let us assume the each of one as a b c then after that prove it is enough to prove that tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a tan b tan c provided a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees so let us solve it let tan inverse x equals to a tan a equals to x tan inverse y equals to b that implies tan b equals to y tan inverse z is equal to c tan c is equal to z that means here a plus b plus c is equal to pi indirectly pi is equal to 180 degrees now a plus b equals to pi minus c apply tangent function on both sides tangent function on both sides so now this becomes like this tan of a plus b equals to tan of 180 minus c now let it be written like this tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b equals to tan 180 degrees minus c that's very very important here 180 minus theta lies in the second quadrant in the second quadrant sine and cosecant are positive rest of the trigonometric ratios are negative so that's why tan function we get tan function only but that is negative tan of 180 degrees minus c is equal to minus tan c so minus tan c because we have the formula like this we can recall it tan of 180 degrees minus theta is equal to minus tan theta cross multiplication takes place so we get tan a plus tan b equals to minus tan c plus tan a tan b tan c transpose minus tan c to the left hand side now we get tan a plus tan b plus tan c tan a tan b tan c so it is not our aim to prove this one our aim is to prove this one that means now tan a is replaced by x tan b is replaced by y tan c is replaced by z so that we get the our answer so our purpose will be solved so that means now here 
therefore x plus y plus z is equal to x y z hence it is proved let's move to the next problem if sin inverse x plus sin inverse y plus sin inverse z is equal to pi 180 degrees then prove that x root of 1 minus x square plus y root of 1 minus y square plus z root of 1 minus z square is equal to 2xyz see in this case also let us assume sin inverse x is equal to capital a sin inverse y is equal to capital b sin inverse z is equal to capital c so that means a plus b plus c is equal to here pi so 180 degrees so next after that take the considered left hand side x is replaced by sin a and simultaneously y is replaced by sin b and z is replaced by sin c so that with the help of a plus b plus c is equal to 180 we have to prove 2xyz that means it is enough to prove that 2 sin a sin b sin c so let us solve it now so now let sin inverse x equals to a sin a equals to x sin inverse y is equal to b sin b equals to y sin inverse z is equal to c sin c equals to z now take left hand side x root of 1 minus x square plus y root of 1 minus y square plus z root of 1 minus z square and also here one more thing we have forget and to write a plus b plus c is equal to becomes pi 180 the important observation we have to write it so now let us replace respective values here sin a root of 1 minus sin square a this can be easily you can write it this is sin b root of 1 minus sin square b plus sin c root of 1 minus sin square c so we have very important result root of 1 minus sin square theta is nothing but cos theta so this is we can write like this sin a cos a plus sin b cos b this is sin c cos c so multiply throughout with 2 and divide by 2 so this can be written without any changing its identity this you can write 2 sin a cos a plus 2 sin b cos b plus 2 sin c cos c so one of the important results we have discussed in multiple angles 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta so this can be put as a sin 2a this is sin 2b and sin 2c so we can write half times this is sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2c absolutely this problem becomes transformations problem so that means take the first two terms write it as a product of the two trigonometric functions so that can be written using the formula sin c plus sin d that is 2 sin of c plus d by 2 and cos of c minus d by 2 
Okay. Using this, this can be written like this now of times 2 sin of 2a plus 2b by 2 and cos of 2a minus 2b by 2. Again, here very interesting the sin 2c again you can write 2 sin c cos c, 2 sin c cos c. Okay. Now, here take 2 common out, this 2, 2 gets cancelled, we have this is sin of a plus b, this is cos of a minus b and plus sin c cos c. One interesting thing here, as we have a plus b, a plus b plus c is equal to pi, a plus b can be written in terms of c that is pi minus c we can write. So, that means sin of a plus b equals to sin pi minus c that is sin c because sin 180 minus theta, theta sin theta. So, this we can write sin c cos of a minus b and plus sin c and cos of c. Take sin c common. If we take sin c common, we have cos of a minus b plus cos c. Again c, we should be able to write in terms of a plus b. So, that means this cos c is equal to cos of pi minus of a plus b. The cos 180 minus theta minus cos of a plus b. It is also very interesting. Now, this can be written like this sin c and cos of a minus b. This is replaced by minus cos of a plus b. Very interesting formula. Cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b is 2 sin a sin b. So, this means sin c into 2 sin a sin b. So, this equals to 2 sin a sin b sin c. But what is sin a? Yes, x. What is sin b? y. What is sin c? z. Replace it. So, this equals to 2xyz. This is RHS. Hence, it is proved.